This is The Last Coffee House, and we are talking about one of my favorite things in the universe right now. It's the artist Banksy. I'm sure most of you have heard of him. He's a street artist, a very famous street artist in the UK who does a bunch of spray paint work. It's often very cheeky, as the English would say. Uh, anyway, it's usually got like a social commentary slant, or some kind of an anti-government slant, that, that sort of thing. And Banksy does all this stuff anonymously, but whatever the case... Banksy's a street artist who primarily uses spray paint and does a bunch of cheeky stuff and has some kind of classically classical political criticism as opposed to modern political criticism, which is just like yelling and screaming, calling opposition a Nazi. So this particular one, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this story, but this article is called Banksy Painting Self-Destructs Moments After Being Sold for $1.4 million at Auction. <laughs> So a lot of people, I'm sure, have seen the pictures. I saw the picture on, it was Banksy's Twitter, I think. Anyway, to start at the beginning. So this was at Sotheby's Auction House in London. It was on Friday. The painting was Girl with the Balloon. You know, when you've seen Banksy's stuff, it's it's very simple. It's, it's bold visuals where it's got the sketch-looking girl with uh, a red, bright red balloon. So it's very simple. But so it sold, it was being auctioned, it was going through the whole process, and eventually, over the course of the auction, it fetched the price of $1.4 million from some engorged aficionado. Just after the gavel fell, a curious sound <laughs> issued from the frame of the painting, and the artwork was destroyed through a shredder that was built into the frame. So just after it sold, and keep in mind, this is $1.4 million somebody agreed to pay. There are many people who are involved in the sale of this this thing. And this is triggered and it's destroyed. It's rendered pieces, it's shards of the, the former work that are spitting out of the bottom of this thing. And Banksy put a picture of this, or he had some kind of a plant. It was a good picture too. My favorite person was the guy on the far left who was on the phone, who's just like... <laughs> Just mouth agape, it was hilarious. But so Banksy put the picture on Twitter or whatever, and the caption was, quote, going, going, gone, end quote. So I love this for so many reasons. One of the things about art is it's always, especially after after modernism, after Warhol. Anyway, so it's it's really taking this meta look at what art is and wondering what art is and what the value of art really is. And it's such a beautiful illustration of this as opposed to some essay that's just didactically laying out. This is what I think about what art is and what how art should be valued or, or my questions about art value. I, this kind of a stunt, this artistic stunt from such a, a prominent figure in the art world, it's such a wonderful, I hate to call it a prank because that seems so seems to undermine the value of it, but when you think about the structure of this, this is all these people and all these things around this artistic work, this machinery that's working, that pumps up the value, not the volume, pump up the volume, pumps up the value of something like this, that is just simple paint on a canvas, you know, with a, a frame around it, to the point that it's worth 1.5, and I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not decrying anybody who's willing to spend that kind of money, I mean, if I had that sort of money, I'd happily spend it, and then maybe put a, leave the price tag on for when people came over to see it but it's it's really who cares you know we're all uh, the footman's there waiting for all of us so what, what does it matter whatever the case this particular stunt really illustrates those ideas about what is art really worth and what does it mean to have all of this machinery working to sell it for some from for some astronomical sum to somebody who doesn't need it for some reasons that are ridiculous what does that really mean and this thing in shredding something that's so valuable <laughs> In front of everybody just like that, it, it really gets at that idea without having to sit down and write it out or anything like that. And the beautiful thing is that somebody likely will, you know, they'll take what's left of the painting and replace it into the frame or something like that. And it'll it'll still be that piece of work, that piece of art, you know, who knows if they're going to now in absolute just horror go through this whole legal process of suing on the basis of you destroyed my one point four million dollar artwork or if the sale was you know, with drawn or something like that who knows but just what a beautiful way to illustrate that that idea and i don't know what's that exit through the gift shop that's what it is and that's another one when you watch that documentary it's about banksy but more about an artist that is connected to banksy and an artist who was just mediocre at best but through this it's just a, a kind of conjuring in the art world. It, it creates, you know, like the, the person who is shooting the documentary and doing this mediocre art and is the center of this documentary becomes the artist just by virtue of the fact that they're 
related to or, you know, taking footage of Banksy and they're built up in the art world by this machinery that's trying to create buzz and get paid and all that sort of stuff. And this is just such a beautiful way of getting back at it and really underlining those ideas of these things, these vacuous things that are just elevated beyond all... <laughs> cognition you know beyond anybody's reckoning these things that are just elevated in that way and it brings them right back down and it really shows how thin it is that line between the things that we laud and and prop up in civilization and what really is and really the, the baser nature of we primates so it's just it was a beautiful thing and i loved seeing it and i definitely see you banksy but anyway so that's going to be what it is for this one I appreciate you listening, and I would highly recommend Exit Through the Gift Shop. It's a great documentary. And read up on Banksy. I, I love even just the plain artistic style. Uh, I always think of it's like a cop with a, a billy club, one that he paints all over everywhere. But I'd highly recommend that documentary. Look Banksy up, and thank you very much. Thank you.